Welcome back to the channel for some more Civ 5 action. Today we're going to be playing as Germany. And as you can tell by the title, we're going for a domination win by way of Panzer. The Panzer is Germany's unique unit. It is a tank replacement that is a stronger tank. It's 80 combat strength instead of 70. And it has 6 movement instead of 5. So this is a pretty potent unit. And if you go autocracy and get the ideology tenant lightning warfare, this becomes seven unit with extra combat strength and can ignore zone of control. So you can pretty much run this thing anywhere you want. Uh, it's pretty potent unit. So we're going to try and get these things with as many promotions on them as we can and take everybody out using panzers. The interesting thing about this is that the way the tech tree is set up, most people end up getting flight before bothering to go down the bottom of the tech tree and getting to tanks. And so when you already have bombers, you don't really need tanks. You'll use them as a capture unit to cap, you know, capture cities, usually bomb a city into submission or artillery. Uh, so they don't see a whole lot of use as an offensive weapon, just as a, a city capture thing. And I get that, and I know some people are going to say, well, why don't you just use bombers and paratroopers? You get those at the same time. I know. I've done that before. You've done it before. We've all done it. It's been, it's been done plenty of times. I want to do this because I want to do this. I just, it's something I've always wanted to try. I've read a lot about people using these and how to use them and how devastating they can be, but I don't see much on YouTube that shows it. So... I really want to try this, and it's kind of like something that's on my Civ 5 bucket list. You know, it's one of those Civ 5 things I've always wanted to do, and I, and I still haven't. I was actually going to do this in the Conqueror's Challenge, but that didn't quite work out, so we're going to try this here in a standard game. Their unique building is the Hansa. This is a bank replacement, and what this bank will do is, for every trade route you have with a city-state, it will increase a city's production by 5% if that city has this bank replacement in it. So if, for example, you have, you have a city, you build a Hansa, you have four trade routes going to city states, four times five is 20, the production in that city is boosted by 20%. You can see how big this would be. If you have eight trade routes going to city states, that's a 40% increase in production for every city that has this bank. And you can build them in every city, so this is a huge production boost. Their unique ability is, upon defeating a barbarian unit inside an encampment, there is a 67% chance you earn 25 gold, which you always get gold, so I don't really know why they say that, but uh, they may join your side. And you also pay 25% less for land unit maintenance, which is great because we're going to be building a lot of these panzers. <laughs> Provided I can get the oil. Right here, when you clear a barbarian camp, I don't know, sometimes I think it's less than this, but it's still, it, early on, it can be helpful. You can get yourself uh, a handful of free units, which is great. Maybe we can even do some tributing, although I've never been able to do that on Immortal or Deity, but uh, we'll, we'll mess with it and see what happens. Okay, there's... Uh, in addition to uh, trying something different, and that's winning by using a tank unit, uh, there is something else I'm going to be trying this time, which is different. I'm going to be playing on quick speed, and I'm not sure I ever have. I, I probably have once or twice sometime in the past, but um, I can't honestly remember if I have. I've, I've watched games that are played on quick speed, plenty of those, but I haven't done it myself, so... It may take me a little getting used to the speed of things, you know, the, the speed that buildings are built, that units are built, that tiles are improved, the techs are researched. It's going to be, be kind of uh, awkward, I think, and take a, a little bit of getting used to. And because there's, there's certain times you want to plan things out. Like, for example, if I get all my universities built and I'm getting ready to start researching electricity. I want to start building 
Oxford University so that Oxford University has done the same turn I discover electricity because that gives you a free tech and then the next tech after electricity is radio so you instantly go right into the modern era and era area <laughs> wow uh, the modern era and grab your ideology so I can I, I know how to plan things out like that that's an example uh, it might be a little odd with the timing because this is quick speed but uh, the reason I want to do this is because well two reasons one is that there's a lot of things I still want to do with Civ that I haven't got around to doing because the games that I'm playing tend to take a while even on normal speed which I actually prefer the pace of normal speed but uh, this is one of those things I want to do. There's a game with Portugal that I want to try really bad. Uh, there's a, I want to try a game with Byzantium. I don't know if I'm ever going to get around to it because it takes a long time. And as a content creator, recording these and then doing the editing and uploading, it, it the editing takes a lot longer. It's like I could get through a game in a week or so if I wasn't recording and editing and all that. But also the viewership tends to tail off on a standard speed game. I'm probably looking at 18 to 24 episodes. And I think somewhere around probably 13, 14 episodes, the viewership drops off a lot. And I think people get bored with the game. And I, I, I understand it. I get that. Uh, because you're not really getting to the good parts soon enough. So hopefully... We'll be able to uh, retain some interest and uh, get through this in a little quicker pace. And then I can do some other things that are on my uh, SIFI bucket list. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're using an oval map here. This is one of the base games map. It is an oval shaped Pangea with random bays carving into the sides. It's a pretty interesting map. There were a couple of problems I was finding when I was, I was doing my map testing. With this and one of those is the bottom and top of the map were iced in and this map along with just about every other map this thing generates has a tremendous amount of tundra so I set the we come over here to advance you can see I set the temperature to hot that reduces the amount of tundra but it does add a little more desert so we're giving up one thing and getting something out. So at least desert has an oasis. So, but it does. It doesn't guarantee that you're going to be able to get ships across the north and south. It may still be iced in, but most of it'll be open. And this game puts a lot of city states along the north and south coast on this oval map. So we'll be able to access, have access to most of them, possibly depending on where we spawn. I mean, if we spawn in the middle of the map and that's kind of irrelevant, but if we're on the sides, then we might be able to send cargo ships to more of them because fewer of them will be iced in. Uh, sea level is set to medium. I tried, I tried setting this to high. I set it to low, and this setting. And we're using a large map, by the way. This is a ten-player map, and we're only using eight. Um, this, coupled with the hot temperature and the medium sea level. I think makes for a nice looking map. We've got 18 sieves and immortal difficulty. And I set the resources to abundant because setting them to normal, you're lucky if you have three luxuries where you start. Now for the AI, it doesn't matter on immortal because the AI gets a, a ton of happiness. But for the human player, you're going to be really, really stretched to be able to get a fourth city down because there just weren't that many luxes. So this kicks it up a little bit so we should be able to get at least four and probably five unique luxes well that is uh that's about everything so let's uh let's jump in game and get this show on the road well desert well you know i said there was going to be a lot of desert in this one with uh you know the hot temperatures and all tundra up there a lot of floodplains this is a tremendous amount of growth but i don't see a whole lot of production around here is this a hill no no that's a hill that's a hill that's a hill and that's a hill uh wow 
All right. Um, I can't really tell which way this river is flowing. I think it's flowing this way. And the fact that there's tundra right here means we're probably north, maybe northeast corner, maybe. There's a mountain down there. Well, I guess the best thing to do is to see if there's anything down here that would make me want to move from this spot. Horses are likely on one of these two tiles. Is this a hill? No, it doesn't look like it. Oh, I don't know, man. There's a lot of shitty tiles out here. Got an oasis, some wheat, some sheep. Could be a, an expand out here if there's another luck somewhere. It looks like our regional is probably incense. I gotta tell you, I don't love this. Neither does anyone else. Flatland. I don't see a reason to move though. So. A little bit of gold there to start will be okay. Cue up pottery. Yeah, more incense. This is not looking great. I don't love this start. I really don't. Um, these calendar resources are kind of crap. Yes, they, they certainly are. I mean, I, I know you look at this and you'll be like, oh man, Petra, but it's really, really difficult. I don't think I've ever gotten Petra on, that looks like coast. So I'm close, but not on the coast. Well, this just kind of blows chunks I mean I don't know if there's an advantage of being on the coast other than cargo ships are great uh oh Mount Sinai well now we have a reason to settle down here there's also uh, a ruin right there Now I want to fast track a settler for that. We got to scout that area a little bit better. Uh, I want to come this way, and there is coast. Okay, we're going to grow in one turn. Pottery's in four. We'll go ahead and grab that. See what else is around here. There's another river here, so. Copper. Crudely drawn map. All right, if we want Sinai, and we do, well, duh. Then, what's it going to take? Six hammers. Boy, this is really weak. Seven hammers, 11 turns. That's kind of tough, but I really want to fast track a settler down here. Now, the next question is, where do we put this thing? This is actually looking like a good spot. I mean, we could settle on the hill and buy out to it. I don't have much gold at the moment. That's actually not a bad spot. Need to scout up here a little bit more. We could settle on the hill and buy out to it. it would also mean we could probably get the gems and the copper. Probably put another city down here somewhere. Ah, fast tracking the settler on turn two. What could go wrong, right? Alright, so we're definitely in a northeast corner. 
Let's see what else is down this way. It's just going to shoot my ass. Still. Let's, let's keep moving. Uh, I want to see if we have horses. If we do, then we can work that one to be a little more production. I don't like going for a settler in turn two, but we really should grab that if we can. Oh, there's a ruin up there, too. Completely forgot about that. By half. All right. All right. Seven turns on that. I'll bring the warrior back and keep scouting with you know the scout. You know, I think that would be best. That's what they do. Grew to the spices. Is there any advantage to... Yes. There's uh, just more money. Speaking of money, I could buy this. No, I don't want to do that. Because I'm still... Man, I don't know. I'd kind of like there to be a city between these two. Somewhere along here. And this is... Yeah. One of these two, I think, would be probably okay. This would get the sheep up there. Well, so would either of these. I want to save that money in case I don't settle right next to it. It's what I'm trying to get to. Yeah, crap. Gonna have to back him out of there. Bow shot. It's still three turns. That's all right. uncover a few things up there dance of the aurora any other horses around <laughs> no well that kind of sucks how many we got here just three yeah i wanted to build horses early on to get them trained up there's some down here I guess we'll go for calendar since we have calendar resources. Man, leave my guy alone. Have him heal up there a turn. Uh, I'm going to open tradition. Culture? Pop? Gold. Okay. Uh, let's bring you back. Settlers out in one. Alright, this one, the advantage to this one is that it's eight faith. The disadvantage to this is that it is, uh, there's no food on it. So basically, you're going to work this thing until you get your religion and then start working some food tiles. Or work it until you get your pantheon, then work a food tile till you grow and then get back on it. Something like that. Probably have to send it a food caravan. Yeah, it's saying the same thing. Uh, we're not doing that, though. 
Just keep an eye on my scout down here, because I have a habit of uh, forgetting him and letting him get killed. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, let's get on some growth tiles for whatever growth tiles we have. 16 turns. Alright, overflow finished the scout. That's good. Um, get started on a shrine. There is another ruin up there. Don't be desert. All tradition. Okay. Yeah, it's saying the same thing. Um, yeah, you know, from here I can I can still reach both of these, and I don't have to buy that one. So it's probably the best. I'd still like to put something down here, like another blocker city. It would pick up these horses. I need horses, both for the circus, and I want to uh, I want to build some horses early on. And just try to uh, level them up. Oh, you're the one that killed my scout, you bastard. I think I might get up an archer and then another worker. Alright. This is uh, not the preferred path, but I do have plans to go clear barb camps. I guess we'll finish that shrine. I gotta get a worker up after that. In fact, I should get up and find... There's a city-state right there. We'll grab that and then go up there and meet the city-state. Yeah, I was thinking of building Stonehenge. I guess I can keep thinking about it, eh? You have to stop thinking about it. All right, calendar is in one. Oh, I just got a tech rune pretty recently, so this one should not be a tech rune. Twenty faith. Nice. <laughs> All right, we're going to be stagnant here, but that's going to help us get a religion. Uh, do we want to grow to pop two, though? We've got enough of the Pantheon right now. So maybe I'll do that. Let's go straight into a granary. I don't need to build a shrine there right now. See, I need that archer. We got a barb camp down there. I'm going to head up this way. I want to meet that city-state because they may have a quest to clear that camp. So teach us to... Let's put a slam on that guy and slow him down a little bit. And, well, we've got a difficult choice here. We can go one with nature. Which is uh, four faith from natural wonders. Or we can go desert faith. In which case, I mean... <laughs> Look around. One with nature be good, but desert faith is just, you know, when you have this much desert, you can't not take it. Duh! Uh, what do we, what do we need? What do we need? Uh, I guess we'll go mining, I suppose.
shrine archer into a worker. Or do I want the worker first? We're going to grow in three turns. Let's... Yeah, let's let's let that ride. Got us a protection. Let's go meet the city state. Monaco, thirty gold. I don't care about killing that guy, I want to kill the camp. Alright, archers in seven. We're going to grow in two turns. Do I need to buy any tiles around here? Not really. I want, I want this uh, city to grow once. That's a weird looking tile. The hell happened there? Hamburg's going to grow in two. Happiness is down to three, though. Got to get that worker out and get those Luxes online. I'm going to have you fortify there. I'm going to move you to here. Is this a hill? No. Okay, you should not be able to shoot my guy. And I want you to heal up a turn. He comes in and we can tag team him. Alright. We've grown here. We're on the horses. That's good. Archer's done in three. Worker's out in eight turns. And we got to think about getting some other... A couple more settlers out. The meat shall inherit the earth. Well, that's getting a little crowded up there, and there's a worker for me to steal if I want. I can't take that now. Be zoned. Can you kill that? No. Slam that. Kill that. Just a 12, huh? Alright. Get on there. So we can get our religion a little bit quicker. Um, Bronze working, I think. Yeah, I gotta hurry up and get that archer done. We got a barb camp up there to clear. Might actually bring this warrior back. I might ignore that guy. Bring this warrior back. Clear that one. Uh, I'm gonna give you an open promotion, I think. Do I wanna snag that thing? I do and I don't. I think I'm going to let that one pass. You are soft, weak. Normally I would steal that, but Oh jeez, the freaking hand axe. Uh, fortify right there. I gotta get a worker down here. Ah, man, I need, I want to clear this camp to get a free unit. Put 
some shots on that. I'll deal with that hand axe later. Shot on that. So the hand axe knows the jig is up. Another pantheon. Stone circles. Can you kill that? Not quite. Uh, just fortify there then. And let's see if we're going to be lucky this time. Because that's a hand axe that's in there. They're... I think I read those things upgraded to... There's our iron. I think they said those things upgrade to, to knights. Which is kind of odd, but... Give it to me. Yes! Oh, it gave me a brute. There was a hand axe in there. Wasn't that a hand axe? Maybe it wasn't. Alright, so we got us a new one. So I can bring one of them back here to protect the worker. And then the uh, archer and the other one can go clear other camps. Like that one and one down here. And we need to get a couple more settlers out. Uh, do we need masonry? Is there anything in here that says I need masonry? I don't have any stone or marble nearby. Well, there is marble up there, but that's not within reach. It's a potential expand right here in these gems. I mean, there is one fish tile. No other unique luxury, though. I still want to get something else, like, uh, here or here. Uh, let's see. I guess we'll go ahead and get riding. I do want horseback riding, though, but let's get, let's get riding. I do want to get some horsemen out pretty early and have them go help clear camps. Uh, because they, you know, get some experience on them and, uh, you know, try to level them up through the ages. Horses upgrade to knights, which upgrade to cavalry, which upgrade to land ships, which upgrade to panzers. And that is where we're going to end episode one. It looks like we're in the northeast corner. Not bad. Um, I'd still like to get something else down here, but... Uh, you know, putting something here, I, I would like something in between these two cities... And then, I don't know, oh, we got whales out here. There's iron, there's silk. There's fish. This might be a good settle right here. One, two, three. It wouldn't get that one. I don't know. I got to bring a scout down here and see if there's anything, anything else out in this area. But maybe right on the mountain or the iron... Actually, if I settle on the iron, I'll pick up that fish, that fish, and the whales. So that would be a nice uh, backfill. One right here between these two. And then possibly another one over here. Maybe. Alright, before we end this, I have to show you a picture. Because this is the second time I'm doing this now. Because the first time was off to a decent start. But then I got swarmed with barbarians. Take a look at this. This is what my capital was being attacked with. It looked like Raging Barbs was on. They were everywhere. I did not get my first expand settled until turn 60. Because I couldn't I couldn't move my settler out of the capital. It's just sitting there and now and I'm and I'm running my workers away because I, I don't have enough military to protect them from the swarm of barbarians. And after a while I said, Well, this is just nuts. I think it was I don't know, by the time I got Two settles in. It was like turn 90-something. And I'm thinking, 
Yeah, I should have my national college by now. I was just so far behind everybody, and so I just scrapped it. Um, I had good lands, but I was just I was so far behind because I was getting swarmed by barbarians. Anyway, that's going to do it for now. Uh, thanks for watching. Take it easy, and we'll see you in part two of the uh, Panzer Rush edition of Civ Five.